All right, I hope you enjoyed the fourth video in the Mint series about the Node Express server. We use the server to simply serve up static files, just simple HTML files, which is great. It's a basic functionality of that server. I and mean, you could also do simple other types of requests besides file requests, but no matter what you're doing, another useful feature of Express is that it it can log things, it can log activity that's going on. So you can at any time take a look at what's been happening on your server. Maybe you're questioning why it's going slow for some reason. You can see if there's a lot of activity on the server. So in this video, we're going to show you how to log some stuff. So the first thing you do is you type express.js logging. Now express comes with uh, the ability to take in plugins and one plugin that's popular is called Morgan. And so the way it works is you just have to install Morgan, you can require it, and then you can start logging stuff. So let's see. Let's try that out. So let me stop the server. Actually, let me show you the server real quick as it is. Right now, when the server runs, you, it doesn't show anything. When you log in, I'm like Dave8. I said hi hi, sign in. Um, nothing's getting logged. I could submit, you know, new, new tweets, new, uh, new meows, and nothing's happening. I can't see what's going on in the server. So let's change that right now. So let's do npm install dash dash save to save it to our package.json, then Morgan. Okay, it's saved. Now we can do var morgan equals require Oops. morgan and let's save that. And now the main attraction is inserting it into our um, express app. So what they say to do is to do app.use morgan and then combined is some sort of parameter saying log everything or whatever there's different settings so we'll go through those uh, let's put that here after i use morgan and let's go back to our server and let's refresh this okay see now it's logging everything when i make a meow he -he. submit it you can see post meows the server name the client, I'm using Mozilla 5.0, Apple WebKit apparently, uh, Chrome, Safari. So it's lagging a whole bunch of stuff for me and I can, I can personalize all this. So let's take a look at the documentation. Uh, right logs to a file, I don't need to write to a file. Custom token formats. So instead of combined, I can do ID, method URL, response time. Let's see how that looks. Um, instead of combined, let me put that here. Semicolon. Let me restart the server. And now that we're connected, now let's go to mittens. Let's try this. Submit. Tokens ID is not a function. Oh. Interesting. Mm. Let's not do that then. Let's try I'm taking out the ID. Let's try this. Node server. Okay. There you go. It posted the meow and then it got the meows. Very simple. Let's try refreshing the page. Okay. It's not logging that. Or it is. Uh, it seems to be hanging for some reason. Let's restart the server. Okay. Okay, interesting. Let's try this. Submit and then refresh. Okay. So now, yeah, it's, now you can see that what's going on in the server. So if you, if this is constantly going super fast, you know you have a lot of traffic hitting your server. And for example, if you remember at the end of our of the main video series of mittens, I upload to Heroku. And Heroku lets you dynamically scale your server. So if you have a lot of traffic, you can always scale up to multiple 
dinos. Right now I'm just using one dino, which is actually free. If you go to two dinos, it's like 30 bucks or so. And then it's like 30 bucks per dino after that. So, and a good way to, to determine that is by looking at the logs. So let's take this further. Let's actually upload this to Heroku and see how it looks. So let me do this, um, get status, I just added that. So let me do git add, and then git commit. Um, let's see, added logging, and then git push Heroku master. If you remember that Heroku video. Okay, while that's pushing to Heroku, let's open Heroku. Right here, we go to heroku.com, it should Either you log in or it goes right to your dashboard if you're already logged in. I click on the app. And if you recall, I added Paper Trail here. Paper Trail is a logging service. So whenever whatever gets logged to the console, Paper Trail detects it and it will save it. So you can actually search for it later. I think they save on the free plan, they save like three days worth of of logging. So okay, it's it's running. And if you remember, it's at www.davedev.tv. So if you go there, let's see if it logged that. Uh, okay, I think that worked. I logged a whole bunch of stuff here. Let me log in as Dave. Uh, bad logging credentials. I don't even remember my credentials. It's been a while since I logged in here. Let's just make a new member. I'll call it Dave eight again, and I'll make some some login credentials here. Success. Let's see, Dave eight. Let's see if that logged it actually. Um, put. So, so what Heroku does is it logs not only the incoming, not only does it log the actual things that we were seeing in our console here, it's also logging every single request that comes in so it can get kind of messy like there's a heroku router request and also an app web so what i do to filter this out is i type app slash web enter and that'll filter everything out so as you can see here i just posted users so that means i made a new user and then i hit the back button and then it got me uh the route with the, the, the all the meows because it reloaded this page so let's see if i can log in uh like that uh, sign in. Okay, I logged in. Did it log that? Mm. Sometimes it's a little delayed. Let's try searching again. Okay, see now it did put users sign in. Usually it's a little faster. Oh, oh actually, no, it did it a few times here. No, that was the old one. Yeah, this one came out like so. And then lastly, I can type something here, post that, and there we go, post meows. And it's getting it so I can always take a look at this and scale up and scale down as needed again that's over here uh, let's see free dinos uh, let's see maybe upgrade to hobby so yeah basically you upgrade to either the standard dinos or the hobby dinos once you do that then you can click a little scale thing and scale up or scale down depending on the the web traffic that you're getting so that's something cool you can do with uh, Express really easily it's just add that logging and then uh, customize it and then upload to Heroku. So, and again, what's cool about this, just as a reminder is once you close this out, you don't lose it forever. Like with a console, you close the console, you don't have your logs anymore. But here you just click on paper trail in Heroku in your dashboard, bring it right back up. And now I could be like app slash web search. And then like I could do app slash web and say um, post. Let me see all the post requests that I've gotten lately and see the frequency and the duration of all those posts. Let's see if that comes out. It's doing a search. Oh, my internet died. But that's basically how you do it. Um, I'm gonna reset my router now and then we'll continue our series.